It's an interesting fact that the medicines we take end up in our water supply and in our rivers, lakes, and streams. Any water that's near a wastewater plant, you can find a whole cocktail of medicines in them if you look hard enough. And they can be everything from medicines like Tylenol and aspirin to caffeine to antibiotics and to other medicines that people use. So the question is, how did they get there? Well, there's two main paths of how they get there. When we take medicine, our body doesn't use up all the medicine. So when we go to the bathroom, whatever remains goes into our toilet and into the sewer system. When we don't use all the medicines that we have at home or they get too old, often we decide we're gonna flush them down the toilet. And when we flush medicines down the toilet, they end up in our wastewater and not all of them get removed by the treatment plants that we have. And so they end up in our groundwater or our drinking water. When we treat our wastewater, we're mainly interested in getting rid of the viruses and the pathogens that can make people sick because there are a variety of new chemicals that are in our water system. Some of them are removed by the treatment plants, whether it's wastewater or water, and others aren't. So the effect of the medicine in the water is still being studied. One of the impacts that has been seen is what it is doing to various animals, fish and amphibians in particular. One of the issues that you see with hormone-like substances is it sort of confuses the animals. People have done studies and found male fish that have eggs, and eggs are really a female attribute. So it's really important when we're using medicines and we do have leftover medicine, is to either just throw them away in the trash, or if they're not suitable for that, most hospitals or towns have drop-off places where you can drop off your medicine so they can be safely disposed.